three, two, one. This smoke detector is wired into the regular circuitry of this newly constructed mobile home. Mobile home. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what a stupid, you said it's stupid to do a man's job when you get a stupid. Take 108. <laughs> three, two, one. This smoke detector is in a newly constructed model home. It's wired into the regular house circuitry. That's, uh, we're not going to use any of them. Okay. They're blowing all over the place. You want me to start on the union sugar and collapse here or just start on you? That's fine. You can do whatever you, whatever looks good. Okay. Union Sugar has been in Santa Maria for years. Dave Voigt, Vice President of Operations. Look, um, <laughs> gotta get that hair out. Well, what, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm, how am I gonna do this with a, it's just, I don't wanna look like I have a broken neck though. Sugar has been in Santa Maria for years. Dave Voigt, Vice President of Operations, says he understands that as times change, so much pollution controls. But he says parts of the proposed revision to the pollution control standards have the potential of hurting local smaller businesses. <laughs> what? My hair. I don't know what to do, Greg. Uh, uh, okay. 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 Union Sugar has been in Santa Maria for years. Dave Voigt, Vice President of Operations, says he understands as times change, so must pollution with my hair. God! I just want to make sure. Okay. Okay. Union Sugar has been in Santa Maria for years. Dave Voigt, Vice President of Operations, says he understands that as times change, so much pollution controls. But he says, what does he say? <laughs> Hill is on assignment tonight. Roy Firestone. Roy. I, th I don't think I had a chance to welcome you to Channel Two. I haven't been on the set working with you. Where have you been? <laughs> That's right. Let me be the last to welcome you back to Channel Two. <laughs> Thank you, Roy. Okay. We'll put the microphone on here, and then we we'll get. Some Roy hasn't going. been here in a while either. <laughs> what if we go uh, through that welcome again? No, got <laughs> I just wanted. To, I just said I wanted to be the last to welcome John Shue back to Channel Two. Okay. okay. Let's talk some baseball. The Philadelphia Phillies. Not. I'm not rolling. One of the changes that. They One of the changes is in overtime pay. The way the federal law states now, if a work week of various, <laughs> was so dramatic to do with that. <clears throat> One of the changes is in overtime pay. By federal law, if the hours in a work week vary, then that threw me off that noise. Yeah, when you say overtime pay, as soon as you say overtime pay, try and punch it. Ridiculous. Do you have to time in? One of the changes is in overtime pay by federal law. I can't do anything today. I'm on brain time work. Okay. One of the changes is in overtime pay by federal law. The more hours worked in it, I can't. You must take the first one. This is ridiculous. I don't. American schools. Boy, uh, we got to start adding two and two to make four, I guess. To <laughs> show up a little better there. Johnny's back with another look at sports. You're on the line with uh, Lon McCarron, who's yeah. got some action down south. Yeah, Jim. Tonight, the UCSB men's basketball team hits the road for the first time under new coach Jerry Pym. He's out of Utah. KCOY's Lon McCarron has a report from Los Angeles. Lon, are, are you there? What do you got for us? Two, one. The Gauchos arrived in Los Angeles about 1 o'clock this afternoon and after checking in at the hotel went immediately to the gym for an afternoon.
And that is the KCOI 11 o'clock report on this, what night is it? Wednesday night. <laughs> for Mike and for Lon, I'm Laurel Porter. We hope you have a good night. Finally this evening, it's the year of presidential politics again, and as a sports fan myself, I wish the candidates would promise to break that tradition of telephoning the winning team in the locker room after the World Series, the Super Bowl, all the important games. All presidents do it, and most presidents look bad doing it. They're an aberration, they're an intrusion into the game, trying to identify with the winner. Ronald Reagan was trying to be clever after the Super Bowl, he said he wanted the Raiders to become secret weapons that they should be put into silos and replace the MX missile system as a deterrent against the Russians. Silos? Nuclear bombs? Come on, Mr. President, let's leave the football players on the field and separate the politics of nuclear warfare from the sporting world. In fact, to all future presidents in all countries, let's spend some money on sports and recreation and fun instead of nuclear bombs and silos and all that madness, Jim. Quite a ball club, though. This is the KCOY TV 12 11 o'clock report with the news leaders of the Central Coast. Good evening, I'm Laurel Porter. This is the KCOI 11 o'clock report. Pick up $130,000. The, New, Jer no, yeah. the New Jersey Generals of the U USFL, I should say, clinched the playoff berth by beating the New Orleans Breakers 31 to 21 at Giant Stadium. Score 7-7, Herschel Walker. Broke. And uh, your first day here, minor earthquake and Big Bear, uh, about a nine on the Richter scale though. Right, but luckily no injuries were reported. Good evening, I'm Laurel Porter. This is a KCOI TV 12 news break. OPEC nations are considering cutting oil production to keep prices from dropping. Meanwhile, here on the Central Coast, a politician is pushing for a 10 cent tax on each barrel of oil. Retrieved from local waters, we'll have the oil industry's reaction at 11. And containment of a 7,000 acre wildfire burning in the Sequoia National Forest near Lake Isabella is not expected until Thursday at the earliest. And more Santa Marians may be eligible for home improvement loins. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just making the notes here. I was taking a look at this. Another Santa Maria baseball team is doing very well. They're though. doing very well. I think they're taking after the Santa Maria Indians and everybody else around here. I tell you, the Santa Maria 14-year-old Babe Ruth All-Stars are one game away from advancing to the state finals. Last night at Elks Field in Santa Maria, they downed San Luis Obispo with a come-from-behind victory. 